Hello everyone, I'm Pierre from uh, France. You can find my work uh, by the name of Pierre47 on the internet. I am a real-time 3D artist. I worked for CG and I worked as a 2D illustrator too, but right now I'm focusing on the real-time work. Um, what we are going to do today, we are going to take uh, our own model, I made a warrior model, and I want to use uh, the animations and the animation blueprints of the original Unreal Engine 4 pawn as a, um, as a start. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to retarget the animation and the skeleton of the original pawn and we will use it for our, our own uh, model. W we are using um, two software right now, Unreal Engine of course, and for the animation we will use Aketsu because uh, I discovered it um, last year, it's not uh, really, uh, it's not really far, and uh, it's really easy to use, it's really um, noob friendly I would say, so I'm not an animator, I am working as a modeler and texturing artist, uh, so uh, with an easy tool I am really happy, that's why we are using Aketsu and there is some few, few options that are really really cool. So um, here is Aketsu we are gonna take this character, we're gonna export it via the menu and we will import it in Unreal Engine. Uh, there is a few things to know. Unreal Engine right now doesn't make the rig of a character, so you have to rig your character in Aketsu, that's why uh, I worked with uh, this software, uh, and there is a few options that are really really cool. Um, right now if I open a scene this is what I got on the screen and I'm gonna take uh, FBX that I created I will drag and drop in the software the, my computer will process up and here it is I got my model Alors, so the, the, the thing that is interesting is it's because um, of this little guy here you can see that there is the Unreal Engine um, logo and when you put the mouse on it, there is create um, Unreal Engine 4 skeleton and it's really uh, useful because we will match the system of the Unreal Engine uh, original pawn skeleton and it will really ease um, the next step, you will see why. So you have to use this setup, okay, you have to make your own rigging work it really uh, good and after that we will be able to export our model you have to click on the model you want to export click here export FBX export selection okay we didn't uh, worked on um, on animation it's only the model and the rig uh, that uh, interest me so just export selection it will be okay after that we can take Unreal Engine and we can import our model uh, to work with it. So I'm gonna create a folder, new folder, I want to name it Kara, and I'm gonna drag and drop the FBX that Aketsu created, I'm gonna use this one, Up. okay, and here is the options, uh, check skeleton mesh, check import mesh, you can leave skeleton uh, blank, it's not a problem because we will do the retarget, okay? Uh, everything else, I think it's the, the same as when you first use the import options. So, import it, it will process, and after that I'm going to be able to work with the retargeting. Come on little PC, come on. Okay. There it is. Um, right now, to work with retarget, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell. Okay, uh, this is the source. This is the model I want you to apply uh, for the retargeting. Okay, so I'm not gonna change any options with my character. I'm gonna hit content, mannequin, and 
I'm gonna take the mesh and find the skeleton okay, of the Unreal Engine pawn. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit Retarget Manager. I'm gonna clean this up for you. Okay, so this is what we will have. Okay, um, we add new retarget source. Why? Because it will tell Unreal Engine. Okay, this is the source of the retarget, and this is this mannequin you will use. Okay, and we are gonna specify. We are gonna use this source for the humanoid ring. Okay, and then after that, I just have to save my skeleton, and now. I can work with my own um, my own skeleton, my own model, my warrior model. Uh, the thing is, if you notice, um, this is what we call an A pose, okay? Uh, and it will uh, it will not ease the process because I don't know if you have noticed it, but my own character is what we call a T pose, and um, to to ease the retarget work, I will try to create uh, a A pose from this T pose. So my workflow right now is not the clearest it could be. Um, I put some some up some some work. Uh, I add some work. If if I was uh, really um, really conscious, really serious, uh, I would have done uh, A pose instead of a t-pose but uh, it was last year I was very young and was uh, very, na very naive so um, it's the use um, okay now I got this what I'm gonna do is create uh, a pose and retarget this thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select humanoid rig because it was source from the skeleton okay the Unreal Engine skeleton and now I'm gonna add auto mapping. And what is very cool with Aketsu, with the Unreal Engine uh, setup, is that the name, the names match. And this is really, really easy to check everything and be okay. Okay. So um, now that my retarget is almost done, I'm gonna modify the pose. Okay. So I'm gonna first create a pose. I'm gonna click on there. I'm gonna click on pose asset. Okay. I'm gonna put it in the Kara folder. I'm gonna up rename it a pose. Okay. And I'm gonna tell okay, this is this skeleton I want to use with this new pose. And it's not Unreal Engine mannequin, it's my own model, so I click on my model. And there it is. Uh, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna just check that, you know, the A pose is created. Okay. And when I double click on that, I just have to preview pose asset and make this the A pose asset we created just a few moments ago. Um, okay. So now I can go back to the skeleton. Okay. And I will modify the pose. What I'm gonna do is click on modify the pose select my a pose asset okay and i'm going to click on my model and on my model i can click on the body and so up i'm gonna make up, um, up there it is i want 10 st 10 degrees step so i'm gonna Okay, up the other side. Okay, and I'm gonna take the arm right there, the other side the same, right there. Okay, it will not be perfect, but it will really ease uh, the process of retargeting. So now I'm gonna click on modify pose again, I'm gonna click on use current pose. Okay, and there I got this. Okay, this is my original T pose, and this is the A pose from the original. So I'm gonna save. Okay, and now 
we can uh, work with uh, the retargeting of the animation. We have done the retarget of the skeleton. It's okay. Now I'm gonna ask Unreal Engine, okay, you have my skeleton that matches uh, everything with the original skeleton. Now I want to put all the animations of this character and transpose it to my model. And for that we are gonna find another up another time the mannequin. This time I'm gonna go to animation and this is the one that interests us. Uh, third person anim BP. I'm gonna ask him to retarget animation blueprint. So here is what we have. Okay. This is the source. Okay. And we are gonna take our model test export skeleton. Okay. And we are gonna retarget it. Uh, for you to really see this, I'm gonna make this thing okay. A pause, save, up, up, uh, mannequin, animations, retarget, and there it is. So now I've got, uh, it doesn't um, show, but uh, I'm not quite sure why I'm gonna check. I, I need to be cautious, so I'm gonna check something. Cara with the skeleton, okay. It's okay. So, view pause, save, up. Up content, mannequin, animation, tag, retarget animation blueprint. And there it is. So, I'm gonna add a suffix to the name new okay and I'm gonna ask him to retarget and this is okay the animation blueprint so as you can see I've got two things uh, good news bad news good news as you can see it works because it moves okay bad news uh, it, it, it is a lot of pain is 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 in a world of pain right now. Uh, why? Because um, there is a final option we have to check in the skeleton part of my model of my warrior model. And right there, I really really want to uh, thanks uh, Robin from the Aketsu team because without its help, without its support, I would be insane right now. Um, I double checked everything. I didn't. I couldn't find the answer to why the, the, the skeleton is absolutely broken on the arms it's because as I told you there is a few options I'm gonna check up the skeleton of my warrior model I can put the retarget right there and it's in the, ac in the options uh, of the skeleton I will click here and I will show retargeting option and this is where the magic begins. Um, right now, I don't have the right um, the, the right um, option for that. What I want to use, it's not an animation pattern, it's a skeleton, it's a bone, okay? I want that Unreal consider my bone as the bone of the um, original bone, okay? And not a part of an animation, and that's why we will have to check every bone here starting with spine 0 1 and set it to skeleton okay um, this one I'm gonna animation scaled it will be a bit f um, a bit long a bit uh, tiring but you need to do this. I don't have any option to check uh, every bone and in one click uh, put them in a skeleton uh, option. I didn't find it. I will check on uh, Unreal Engine forum if they can uh, have a little uh, tip. But right now you have to put any every bone to skeleton. I'm gonna pause it and we are almost done.
so every bone that interests me is in skeleton mode so I click on save and right there if I take my blueprint here we are see so um, just to be clear um, the fingers will certainly pose uh, problems because it's very subtle, it's very fine work uh, depending on how you will um, rig the fingers it it can be have something really 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 uh, nasty, really deformed but don't be, don't be surprised, it's not a perfect um, solution it will not replace uh, a, a, a really good rig and your own animation uh, but with this method you will be able to check how your character reacts to the environment uh, reacts to the level, uh, the, um, does he take um, the light properly, that kind of stuff so we have one more thing to do we are going, going to take up this replace with my own model and we are gonna take, you know, third person anim bp new, and we will use anim class. Up, and I'm gonna find it. There it is. And now, as you can see, my model took the pose. And if I start the play, there it is. Uh, I don't have my controller so I'm gonna use it right there okay I can use my own model as the original bone um, the little things you can see with the the, um, the butt and the belt, uh, it's because my rig is a really really quick one, uh, it's not really, um, it's not perfect so you have some uh, some glitch right there, but you have everything you need to know, now you can work your rig uh, in uh, Aketsu with Aketsu and export it, import it in Unreal Engine and use the retarget to uh, have your own uh, model as uh, the as the pawn of uh, your level okay um, I will hope I hope it will help you um, it will it, it was um, a bit complicated for me because English is not my native uh, language so I really hope you will uh, understand <laughs> everything I tried to explain um, if you have questions you can uh, ask uh, with the commentaries you can go uh, to Aketsu forum they are really uh, really nice uh, and they are really really uh, great help so uh, never hesitate to ask some question right there uh, and for myself I will see you next time for another video